And welcome back to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win comes to us from... Who did me this one? Oh, it was uh, Dylan Horowitz. Dylan, you should also know, you give, you give me a lot of horror-themed ones. So, while this is the one that going down the list was your suggestion, you will may have, may have noticed that one of your other suggestions already got chosen. And I can already guarantee you that uh, later in the week, another one of yours are gonna be, is going to just come up. Because you give me so many suggestions, there's other people who have suggested the same thing. So... Like I said, when more than one person has given me the same suggestion, I give a shout out to everyone who's given me that suggestion. So, probably expect maybe one or two more of yours to pop up. Because you gave me a lot, dude. You, you gave, I appreciate it, Dylan. But you gave me a lot. You got, gave me a lot that I I almost considered cutting you off there for a little bit, buddy. But I figured out a way to fit it all on the paper and generally be fine. Um, regardless... Uh, Venom vs. Leatherface. Now, I'm going to immediately say, you, you, anyone watching this video probably knows who's going to win. But, for the sake of things, let's, uh, let's play this out, shall we? Uh, Leatherface is a mentally retarded individual. He's, he has, he has a me mental retardation. It's like, not, not like he's a, he's a retard. No. I don't, I don't, uh, subscribe to name calling that. No, he's, has mental retardation. Um, and he, basically, he's, uh, like the... Patriarch of a family of can cannibal hillbillies that are all kind of mutants on some level. Uh, he, you know, he goes around wearing the uh, face of leather made from other people with a chainsaw. Sometimes he has like a meat cleaver, whatever, and he kills people and fe to feed his family. That said, though, he also attacks not because that's just out of like anger or anything like that, which, which he does, but a lot out of fear. He, he's he's a very he's doesn't have a lot of like uh, mental faculties to him. They'll be like. I'm gonna hunt you down. I'm gonna stalk you. No, he's he is mentally challenged. He is he has the same kind of uh, weaknesses that someone who is mentally challenged would have. Uh, so he can be scared very easily. He can be startled very easily. Uh, but he can also get really mad really easily. So and it, obviously not all mental illnesses are the same. I get that. Um, but that that is the case. Obviously he wields a chainsaw. Like I said, he has like a meat cleaver, sledgehammer, and he's. He's not like superhuman strong, but he's a big hefty guy. Depending on which version you're looking, uh, you watch, he is kind of like a big hulking monster of a man. And like in just the original version, though, he's he's a big dude, but he's got like he's he's a meaty dude. He's a big hefty dude, so he's got he's got some physical strength to him, definitely. Uh, Venom or and Eddie Brock Venom, as that seems to be the normal one we generally go with. Um, so I mean, he's a symbiote, an alien, a parasite that bonds to someone. Uh, can enhance their abilities to get traits from the host and pass them on. Bond the Spider Man, went to Eddie Brock, it basically enhanced him to the degree of he can lift several, uh, like, um, I know there's a ton, is 2,000. Is there a way to go to 10,000? What's the term? Decatons? Decatons, sure. Uh, 10 decons, or whatever. Basically, tens of, tens of tons, right? More easily. Uh, his strength is superior to Spider Man, his durability is superior to Spider Man. He does have enhanced regeneration. Uh, he can turn invisible. He can well crawl. He can web sling with his own type of webs. Um, he can shape shift to some level. Uh, am I missing anything here? Um, he's also he's also just very malice and just likes to hurt. Uh, and you know, when it, it going against his opponents, he's pretty ruthless. But he's not inherently evil, unlike someone like Carnage, who very much is inherently evil. Uh, it's all about the host and the symbiote and them working together. So that said, who wins? Venom wins. Here's how this fight would break down. Let's say Eddie's on the run. He's going through Texas, uh, and he and Venom just, you know, stop off, at, or he and Simi just stop off at this house, you know, hiding out, and, you know, they come across the fence, like, look, uh, we're sorry, we'll leave. Like, and then he's like, no, stay, we're just about to have, to have dinner. And then, you know, Leatherface comes in, and, and then Venom just grabs it, and then just turns into Venom. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh. My turn. And then just... Zzz, he grabs the chainsaw. So more so with his hand briefly. Zzz, and just cuts down Leatherface. Now let's say... He doesn't cut down Leatherface. Let's say Leatherface comes in the game with a sledgehammer. And just hits him in the head. Just, poof, Venom might be like... Argh. And then just smack him against the wall. And rip him apart. Eat him. Um, which he might even pop... Yeah, something was wrong with that brain. Uh, let's try you. Uh, how about you folks? And then, you know... Maybe tries to eat these guys. Um, but yeah, Venom would win 100%. There is... See, this is one of those fights that... 
no way I can see Leatherface winning. He does not have the abilities. He does not have the weaponry. He does not have the intelligence. Obviously, Venom does have a weakness to fire and uh, sonic uh, sounds, uh, but and for high high pitch frequencies. But uh, let's be honest here. Yeah, it's Venom who wins. There's 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 no the, Leatherface doesn't have an ability, physical trait, or tech, or just equipment or weapon. That could hurt Venom long term. Even any we weapon he could hurt him with, it'd be flesh wounds to Venom. That'd be it. So, Venom wins. But, you know, let me know what you think. Do you honestly think there's a way Leatherface, let's be clear, even if he does have a way to win, it's not the majority. Venom's winning the majority. Unless you think different. Look, if you think there's a way that Leatherface can not only win, but get the majority and be the definitive winner, please let me know. But... Yeah, it's, it's, let's not kid ourselves, it's Venom. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think. Maybe, maybe I'm the one who's crazy here. Uh, I don't think I am, but then again, the crazy people don't think they're crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As those who want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know, we'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, what if, anything you do on the channel. Discussion videos, which I'll get to in. Right now, the discussions, I, I get a lot, I actually have a far, fair amount of things for discussions right now. Uh, I'll, I'll keep those for my days off, same with, like, the best to worst videos, which I haven't done one of those in a little while. It's basically when I can get around to doing things for those ones. Like, I have the set videos to do, the what-ifs, the who would wins, the box office, and the reviews throughout the week. Those are the, and the death bell predictions when I do those. Those are the ones that I can guarantee I get to, with the rare exception for the reviews. The other ones, not so much. Those, those are a bit more hit and miss, a little bit more repeat, kitty puppy. Um, so, yeah, but... Yeah, stay tuned for those, and there will be a what-if later today, because it is the week of what-ifs, and I have another what-if to do today, so we'll be back later. Have a good one, folks.